everyone. Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So last time we checked in with Bitcoin Cash, 11.32, then 11.61. You see it blew right through here. The only thing you could have done is I'll show you on the one-hour chart, dropping back down here. So then if you come from the most recent swing on the one-hour, which was back on May 30th, coming up to this little pause, it gave you 11.69, 11.94 level rotating off there and then you could also always come from the most recent swing since then coming up to this recent high which then gave you 1210 poking right through there and a major cluster at 1227 which we did not get to and pulling all the way back so i'm just going to remove these just using that as a teaching moment of how you can also use the one hour chart and we'll refine these later but uh, these levels back on the four hour chart but all right selling back below the rotation zone on the one hour. That means we should be back at the bottom of the rotation zone on the four hour. What I'd be watching for is it to get back above the rotation zone on the one hour and also above the eight on the four hour with a nice rotation up. This was a horribly sloppy double top, which already hit target. There's a key, very key cluster area down here around 1068. So I'm gonna do a couple levels here since we're getting extended now. We're gonna do the most recent swing on the four hour and the swing from the bottom and just see how that looks. So if we push back up, first area of key resistance is looking like 1191 to 1200 is going to be very key. That's where this double top formed. Let me do these levels now to the downside and see where that takes us. So to the downside, if we break below this 1073, we're looking at about 1055 and then 1037. We can also just do our standard retracements at this point and see we have enough of this move in now. So retracing to a 37 half, rotating back up. If that does not hold, really watch this. We have this nice cluster down 1037 to 1041. That's a key level, especially if you break through this 50 EMA on the four hour. That's what I will be watching for to see if we can catch on that. That would be the 50% retracement of this up move. If we do go to new recent highs, you know, above this most recent spike high that we formed back on the june 3rd and you notice the divergence i hope so we made a higher high in price a sharply lower high in the rsi and then that just doesn't mean you want to sell what we use that for a lot of times is if it's at key levels take some profits or aggressively move up the stop especially when you see a potential double top pattern here which then it collapsed down because that gives you a chance to add it back on lower so let's take a look in context of the daily too. So we did really nice through the rotation zone back even above the 50 on the day. And now we have a lot of selling. You also see this hooking up eight right at this key level set. 1068 is going to be very key level to watch for it to hold. And we've other already covered the other targets to the downside. Switching over to Bitcoin. Bitcoin running up to our 7781 level. What was the high here? 7779. So... We're off by two bucks. Sorry about that. At this point, I'm just good with the big pullback. Now I'm going to raise this level up to see how the next levels fall. We're back below the rotation zone. So you see here we fell, was watching for a rotation back here. We had prior resistance becoming support, watching for it, and we did not get a rotation back up. It just continued to collapse. Now the rotation zone is against us. So we have to get back up through this pretty much 75 80 level before i'm even going to look at anything let's do our retracements on here from these lows and see what we're looking at all right we're now holding again about that 37 and a half level if we do our extensions back to the downside if we don't hold this level we have this pausing bar look we have a really nice cluster now at the 50 percent level let me zoom in on this See that right there. So about 74.10 is going to be key. And if we fall through there, then we're watching for 73.69. On a rallying basis, 75.63 to about 75.77 is key resistance. So I'll be watching for this to get back above there and then get hopefully get a double cross pattern, which means the orange line will cross back above the blue line. And then we'll catch on that, and then I'll be interested in more things to the upside. Let's check in on the daily chart. Daily chart, look at that. Let me expand this. It's always easier when I do. Poke, get 
spiking up just below the top of the declining rotation zone and then massive selling, massive collapse. Now we're back below the 8, and that 8's coming in right now about 75.50, so that's going to be another key level to watch. But this thing's really got to get... Uh, this is not very powerful. This is why we're not aggressive until we can get above and sustain a move above the rotation zone on the daily and on the four hours. So then you can start aggressively buying the pullbacks into the rotation zone. This could not get through the rotation zone on the daily. So it's time to be a bit more patient and let it unfold on the four hour, either getting a bobbing pattern if we, if we come back down to the 7410 area or get back above that rotation zone. Again, I'll cover that concept again. So what we want to see is the price get back above this these moving averages. I mean, you could watch for it a bet to get above essentially 7,600. Pull these moving averages where the orange line is then against the blue line and then catch on it. So I wonder if there's an example here before. So we have not had a lot of strength in this recently. So it's hard to, for me to show you a good example from the long side. But all right. So here, over here, we got back above it, pulled it back, and then see we caught on it there, caught on it there, and then we started to move here. And then we got back below, got the cross, but then this collapsed back down. We had to wait for the cross again, and then we got a little catch on it, but you really need to get a solid rotation back up. That's what we'll be watching for. Hope this little information helped you. Just be a little patient right now. Do not be overly aggressive in Bitcoin and just wait for the high probability entries and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.